Are you looking for a free and powerful alternative to Intercom, Drift and Zendesk? Hello, today we will discover Paper Cups, a free open source customer service solution including all the essential features to provide high quality support to your user on your website and apps. Before jumping to the platform overview, let's have a look at the different options available to start using it. There are different options available to install Paper Cups. Uh, you can use the cloud version from them. You choose your plan and you're ready to go. You can also go to their GitHub and follow the instruction for self-hosting it yourself or even use one-click Heroku deployment. Or the solution we will see together by using LSTO, our platform, to deploy and fully manage our open source software. To set up our instance, go to ls.io, hit login, then hit deploy my first service, then search for paper cups, select, choose your cloud provider, I will choose Scaleway, hit next, and create service. We will receive an email as soon as our instance is ready. I just received the email telling me that my instance is ready. I can go click here to get the password. I arrive on my instance admin dashboard. I can click here to copy the password to my clipboard and go to my instance by clicking on the URL here. The email is my account email and the password in my clipboard, then hit login. When you arrive, you have no onboarding, it's directly uh, the working dashboard, but I will present you the different features. The first thing we will need to do is to set up our communication channel. To do it, you go into inboxes. First, there are inboxing, so you can uh, separate uh, inbox between maybe the support or the sales, so you have different way to sort the different messages you have. And inside inboxes, you need to add uh, communication channels. Configure inbox. And from here, we have different sorts channel we can use. Together, we will see the simplest one, which is a live chat, but there is also email forwarding, Gmail, Twilio, and sync with Slack. They also have a good documentation to show you how to create the different thing needed to do the custom integration, for example, with Slack. And if you don't success with it, don't hesitate to contact us on our support and we will help you. Let's start by adding a live chat to any website. It will create a widget. We are able to set a title and we have a live preview on the right. Let's name it LSTO support. You have a subtitle, so it's a message, an engaging message to ask people to write to you. You can even add a greeting message away message when you are typing. You can set the color to fit your branding. You can even change the icon on the bottom right. Here you can see it's filled. Now it's outlined. Then you can add some additional uh, features like require an, an identified customers to provide their email, show agent availability, and then you have some uh, instructions to help you install it in your website. There is a, the basic HTML JavaScript way. It's uh, the most convenient one. Or you can have uh, the React one. But even in uh, React, you can use uh, the vanilla JavaScript on top of your website to install it in uh, basically two seconds. As you can see, the configuration is not defined on your uh, account, but it's based on the JavaScript parameter you use. So maybe on different pages, you can use different parameters, which is quite useful. Let's add it to a project I have to see how it works in a real case scenario. As any widget, add it on the bottom of your scripts, save, and you can see on this project, it added me uh, the icon here and I have the support enabled on my website. It took me really two seconds to do it. Here, it's all the parameter automatically set. You don't need to change it or you can do it with the UI. But here, those are the parameters you can add to give more context to the support about the user contacting them, the name, the email, the external ID, for example, the ID of your user in your database, and some metadata to have all uh, required information for the support to uh, help the user the best. Okay, it's asking me my email. I will set it and say, hello, please help me. So we'll see how it appears in paper cups. Back to here, we can see we have a lot of alerts telling me that I received a new message. Let's open it from all. 
we have the email of the user because I didn't put the information. It's coming from uh, the box on the right. You can see the information of the user. If I filled it, it was more available for the support team. You have a last scene, first scene, the device used and where it's used. They don't uh, add the IP. We can add a linked issue. If, for example, we already had issue for this user, we can link it to another one or maybe between multiple users. Oh yeah, you can link it to a generic issue uh, for your project. You can add some additional context to your discussion by using tags, for example, a pricing issue. Done. So now I will have this tag associated so I know all my customers having pricing issues. I also can add note for this user. So if we have something not private, but to memorize about this uh, issue, so you have it or your uh, coworker have it, you can write it here. Uh, this user is, the, is coming for the third time we need to hurry to help him. This way the team will help uh, faster because they have this information. We can of course reply here, hello, how can I help you? We can also attach files to, to help the user, to guide the user. Once you're fine with it, you can go on the right, either mark it as a priority, or you can close it because it's fine, the, the issue is closed and you also can delete the conversation. So let's close it. Now I don't have any conversation, I'm good with the support, all my users are helped. There are different things assigned to me, if you work in team you can assign it to other people. You also can have mentions, for example the one we saw in the notes earlier the unread, unassign. Maybe there is one people who will just say hello and assign to the technical team. And this feature is quite helpful. You can set it to prioritized or you can have access to the history and the closed one. Let's quickly jump to the tags because we talked about it. Uh, here we have pricing issue. If we go to this tag, we can see all people linked to this tag or all the conversations because we can attach other, either uh, someone or uh, a discussion. And from this screen, you can edit the tag to add more context and explain what it is about and specify a different color code. Other thing you have about your conversation is you have a full access list of your customers here. You can pre-add them directly manually. You also can group them by companies. So you can create company here with the name, description, website, and a Slack channel specifically for them if you made the Slack integration. You also have access to different issues, but you can see it's in beta for the moment and all the notes. Then something very important to work in team is to set up the team. So here, I'm alone for the moment in the team. It's the first account created when I deployed the instance, but you can generate an invite URL to invite all their users join you on Paper Cups. If I generate the URL, I go to it, and then I can create my account with this URL. Or I can log in if I already have an account, which is the case for me. For the moment, it doesn't seem you can add very fine-grained permissions about the user. Uh, maybe it's admin and generic users. Maybe it will come in the future because Paper Cups is always evolving and integrating new features. It also comes with integrations. We have already seen some of them in the communication channel, for example, with Slack or email forwarding. But there are some others which are account level integration. You can connect it to GitHub or Google Sheets or HubSpot, or even if you already have Intercom, you can switch your users if you are uh, bored of paying that much money for it. One interesting feature is reporting. You can see how your team is performing. So you can share uh, the support efficiency to the bigger uh, team vision. You have stats about the average response time, the median, the uh, resolution of issues. 
it's quite useful to see how the support is performing. You also can see on what day your uh, support is contacted to affect the correct uh, resources in your team to be uh, available when users need to. There are also here developer tools. If you go, you can generate API keys and you can create some webhooks to integrate it with uh, your backend or your system. It's quite interesting because with API, maybe you can do very powerful things with. The different endpoints available are users, conversations, you can create conversations, you can retrieve one and update it, delete, list all conversation. Can we respond to, to users? It must be in the message section, retrieve a message, delete, list all message. It doesn't seem we can write directly, but if we can, we could just uh, connect it to your documentation and to ChatGPT and do a first wall of support just using AI. You can go even further by enabling uh, live sessions. You need to install Storytime. The documentation is here to tell you how to install it, but then you can give a live support to your users. Thank you for watching. We hope you enjoyed this platform tour of Paper Cups. If you find this kind of video useful, please hit the like button to help this content be more visible to other open source software lovers. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel to not miss our next videos, but if you can't wait until next week, you can continue discovering great open source tools by watching this video here.